Hi, it's Dot, and I'm back again. And one of the dishes I loved before I went low carb, high fat was Eggs Benedict. My husband and I would usually go out for a Sunday brunch, and that would be one of the things that either he or I would order. Um, and unfortunately, part of Eggs Benedict is the um, English muffin. That's what everything sits on top of. And so those sort of went out the window. However, I have a little dish where I can combine two of my favorite things. One is my all-time favorite salad, which is a caprese salad, and Eggs Benedict. It's where the caprese salad serves as the English muffin. So that's what we're going to make today. All you need is some wonderful basil leaves, fresh basil leaves. Um, I use a Roma tomato, sliced, and it's just, you know, try to get it as even as possible, but, you know, not too thin. Um, about two ounces of fresh mozzarella. Uh, for your salad. And then obviously, you know, I, I, my seasonings for it, which is going to be pink Himalayan salt and, and black pepper. And then I have some um, over here. I'm going to warm this up in just a bit, which is my hollandaise sauce. And typically with hollandaise sauce, um, they sell them in a bag or a pack at the grocery store. You don't want those. This one is actually from Trader Joe's. It comes in a container. It is pre-made. Um, it does taste good. However, I haven't built up the courage yet to try my own. I've tried it once and I ended up curdling the eggs. You know, I sort of made scrambled eggs almost, just a little bit too hot. Um, but I will attempt it again someday soon. Um, but anyway, you need that. And then two poached eggs uh, for this dish. So right now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start plating the caprese salad. And then we'll move over to the stove and work on the hollandaise sauce and the poached eggs. All right, so now we're going to plate our mozzarella first. And I use about two ounces of mozzarella for this dis dish. Um, and then you just want to sort of form a base that your tomatoes are going to sit on. But before I do that, I'm gonna dry my hands off, I'm going to season the mozzarella. It's really important to make a caprese salad where your mozzarella and your tomatoes are seasoned. And you can use um, uh, sea salt if you like. Um, I'm using just a pink Himalayan salt to add a little dash just a pinch of salt on there. And then I add pepper. Just a smidgen. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start um, putting on some basil leaves. Now typically what I do with this dish is I like to layer the leaves. I use about five basil leaves per layer, or not per layer, but total, and then just put a couple on there. Now I'm going to do the tomatoes. So you just want to stack them. You want, to, you want to try to keep it as flat as possible simply because you don't want the egg sliding off. Now, I'm going to put these over on the ends because this was a little larger plum tomato, but I usually use um, a medium plum tomato for this. Actually, let me put that there. There. Now, again, I'm going to dry my hands off and I'm going to season these with salt and pepper. A little bit of pepper. And now I'm going to add my final leaves to this. And some nice big leaves here, which I love. I love fresh basil. So i just put my leaves on, just organize them. Now we're ready to head on over to the stove and we're going to work on the hollandaise sauce and poaching some eggs. All right, I'm over at the stove and um, I'm going to go ahead and, and start melting my hollandaise sauce. Now, if you do something that's store but like this happens to be, you certainly can put it in the microwave um, to melt it down. But I've always had bad luck with that. And the reason why is you don't want um, hollandaise sauce is made out of egg, egg yolks and clarified butter. Um, and what you don't want is the fat, the butter separating, separating out from the dish. You, you know, you have to take your time and really try to get it back together. And sometimes it just doesn't happen. So what I like to do instead is I don't have a double broiler, which is the best way to do it. But what I do have is a pot with a little bit of water that's just simmering here or a little less than simmering, but it's hot. And I have a stainless steel bowl and I'm just going to put this on top. And what it's going to do is going to, the heat from this is going to start melting the hollandaise. And you can already sort of see it melting a little bit at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is let this sit here and slowly melt. Um, I'll stir it on occasion to make sure everything is still intact and the butter doesn't come separated out. But this is um, um, the best way to go ahead to me 
to get this melted down into uh, more liquid so that you can actually spread it easily on top of your poached eggs rather than nuking it. Um, nuking it, you really have to be careful of how long you nuke it, how high the temperature is. You just don't want this fat separating. Okay, as you can see, I've got it melted down. It only took about uh, two to three minutes to go ahead and melt it down. So it's nice and creamy. There's no thick, thick, my light went out. Um, there's no um, lumps in it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off the heat, but I'm not gonna leave it on the water. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on the stove top where I'm gonna keep it warm. And the next thing I'm gonna work on is the poached eggs. And what I already started working on with the eggs, I had my water. Um, you don't want with poached eggs boiling water. You want a little bit of a simmer. You want some bubbles starting to break the surface because you don't want it super hot. And you can see there's lots of steam. There's some bubbles forming. I had bubbles earlier. I turned down the heat because I was worried that it was going to get a little bit too hot. Um, I put about two inches of water in my pot and I turn on about a medium heat and just let it go for about 15 minutes. How I tell two inches is I just use the first two knuckles on my index fingers. That gives me an approximate. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and start poaching the eggs. Um, now, one of the things that seems to help, um, I'm a horrible egg poacher, I will tell you that. But one of the things that I've learned that, that seems to work for me is I stir the water up. Um, you want the water going in a specific location because once you put your egg in, what happens is the egg will, the whites will start going around the yolk to form sort of a, a more of an oval or, or a ball rather than just spreading out and going all over the place. So that's one of the tricks I learned. The other things, I used to just crack the egg and plop it in. No, it doesn't really work that way. Uh, the best way to do it is put your egg, um, you want to make sure the yolk isn't broken, in a container, in a bowl, and then you're just going to drop it in the water as close as possible. See, and see how it's swirling? going around and round and round. Now what I'm going to do is it cooks for about three minutes for the perfect, perfect poached egg. Um, so you want to do that. And I take it, actually, I take it off heat to poach this egg. Um, I'm going to go ahead and position my other egg to drop on in. And then when we come back in about three minutes, we'll have some poached eggs and I'll show you how to get them dried off. Um, it's been three minutes. Both my eggs are pretty much all done. So what I'm going to do using a slotted spoon, I'm going to take the first egg out. Um, ooh, looks really good and wobbly. And I'm going to actually, what I do is I put it on a paper towel to dry it. And I'm going to get the second egg out of here. This one's a little thicker. Now a little bit pesky and getting out. Oh, almost broke it. I'm just going to put this like this. This one's almost broken, so I'm not going to take it off the slotted spoon. But what I am going to do is this one that came out. This one was a little bit more difficult for me. Again, I'm not the pro at poached eggs, but it takes practice. So what I'm going to do, that's a little better. I'm going to go ahead and slide this on to my plate here. That's going to slide on there. Position that egg. And then I'm going to take this one and scoop it off of my paper towel. You have to be careful with this, obviously, because it's poached egg. You don't want the yolk to break. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is put it here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead with my hollandaise sauce. And let me get my spoon. And you want to take about two tablespoons and you're just going to pour it over the eggs. There we go. Oh, it looks so good. And then I'm going to add a pinch of cayenne pepper. Yes, I love my cayenne. There, a little bit more. There. So that is my... Caprizi, Eggs Benedict Caprizi salad. Um, it is very tasty. My cameraman is eager to dig into this since this is his lunch. Uh, <laughs> but um, real easy to make. Um, takes a few steps, obviously. Hopefully you're better at poaching eggs than I am, but it ain't too bad what I did here. Um, and until next time, I'll see you in a bit.